Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to take you through another update on the construction butterfly. <laughs> on the construction, we are doing some major demolition today and it is going to look a lot different in Frankie's room when today is through. So Frankie is coming along. Yep. What do you think? It's almost done. Just that last little itty bitty bit. Well, then we got to do top. Well, yeah, but I mean, as far as that Basically. part of the floor. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Still a lot, but it's coming along. Trim takes a minute. That's what she said. She oh. pulled the old, that's what she said right out of the bag. So it's almost, the flooring is close to done. I think you guys are on track to start the demo of that wall today instead of tomorrow. Potentially? Probably. Whatever, whatever, so, whatever you said. So, okay. <laughs> there are two ceiling fans on the kitchen table, dining room table. One of them has a wobble and one of them doesn't. One of them needs to go in the dumpster, one of them needs to get hung on the ceiling in her room. We don't know which is which. We don't know which is which. But getting that. one of those ceiling fans replaced, replacing the one that's in there is what clears off the dining room table. Cool. How, how high priority is that for you? How am I going to know if it wobbles? Like, what am I supposed to do? No, no, I mean, getting no. the dining room table cleared off. Oh, putting the house the back together is... Brought into this conversation. Because getting... Because see, there was demo of the wall, she and said, all of a sudden he's not She started talking table. about demo of the wall. Wait, what? And Squirrel. 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 So here's what's going on. I, I, in my mind, I'm thinking about all the little pieces of the project that still needs to happen. Okay, but... So here's the thing. One of my things today and this weekend that I'm on my checklist that I want to accomplish, they're making weird faces and stuff behind me, aren't they? No, they're not. Okay. <laughs> Respect. All right. So I just assumed that now they are. <laughs> Is to get the dining room, the living room, everything put back together, the mud room put back together. I'm going to move some benches out there for some storage for things and get everything kind of squared away. So. <laughs> No respect, they get no respect. So that being said, <laughs> am I going to be able to use any of this? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. All of it. Some of so, it. <sighs> A little bit. 80%. So the point is, yes, I want that taken care of. 72% well. of us. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm going to finish this floor right now, and then you already have all the one by 4 sanded and ready to go, right? So I can do all the baseboards. Yeah, they're back there. Okay, so as soon as that goes in, baseboards go in, because baseboards are going before tile goes in. Once the tile goes in, I can do a trim piece of tile around that thing. And then once all that's done, because you can't grout it today anyhow, after we put it on, that wall can start coming out. So where we end up after putting all the baseboard in and pile in is where we're at today. So I was in the kitchen about to make some goat cheese and goat ice cream, goat milk ice cream. And my cell phone rang and it was Michael telling me to come out here and bring the camera. So apparently something something's happening. What? Something's happening. What? I don't know. Mike just told me to come out here and bring the camera. So the floor is done on the wood laminate stuff. The trim is going in. It's it looking is. nice. That looks really nice. I like that natural wood trim. That's really cool that all that's getting repurposed. So check this out right here. We got all this uh, concrete curbing that was existing. And we've got all this, uh, this one by four that we repurposed and Nate is about to get really tricked. So we've got some tile that we repurp that, that we not repurposed, tile that we have left over from another project, and then this repurposed trim. So I just want to show the before of what this concrete curb looks like, and then we'll capture a little bit of video as Nate is getting all kinds of crazy on this and trying to beautify it. I think it's gonna look really cool when it's done with the colors in here. I think I might want to move into this room. That's a good idea. <laughs> so, question time. What 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 what's gonna happen here? What goes there? It's done. No, it's not. I'm just kidding. No, this is all part. Whoops! Did you catch that? <laughs> I wonder if you caught that. I don't know. I will have to look at the tape later. But yeah, that just felt that happened. Yep. So, so what's gonna go here? You're gonna have to wait and see. This stuff. Okay, that's that was what I okay. Yeah, you that's got a plan. Nate's got a plan. As long as one of y'all got a plan. Oh yeah, look at that. It's gonna look ugly for a minute, bro. It's gonna look ugly for a minute. It's gonna look ugly for a minute. I knew this girl when she woke up. Nah, I can't say Don't that. Don't do it, bro. <laughs> She's gonna edit this. 
<laughs> Not that girl. <laughs> Thing about working with old stuff, brother. Nothing's ever quite what you think it should be. Well, you know, you expect a reclaimed project to have a reclaimed look right. to some extent. It's getting hot, brother. What's that? It's getting hot. Yeah, may have to set that. Uh, Pop up up over the saw. It's okay, man. It's okay. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes maybe shit. Mississippi, it's ears down flat. Oh. Long before you take this cowboy's hat. Ready, set, go! Oh, oh. That's, oh, that's dirty. Oh, that's... Wait, wait, not you. Frankie, don't take this to the dumpster. I want That was a lot. This is kind of cool. It's like a walk-up bar. Hello, <laughs> oh, ma'am. I'd like two cervezas, por favor. Hey. Yes. Barkey. What? Give me a drink. No. Please. Bye. <laughs> Can I drink this? <laughs> you sure? She might have. Yeah. She might have roofied it. I don't know. Put a fire in it? Something. She banged it with her chunk left. I don't know why. <laughs> what? <laughs> Y'all are a lot. This is you. I do like this kind of little... I feel like we should just make her hurdle over it. It'd be easier for Can us. Set of stairs? No, you don't just make like her bridge? like literally make her hurl, hurdle over it like there I used go. to at the renegade at the, at the corner bar. Oh, yeah. yeah. I feel yeah, I feel like she'll be careful in case there's still nails. Um, I feel like this will be good. Like she'll be training for the Olympics for like the hurdles. You want to be in the Olympics? No. Shit idea. <laughs> so lucky. It's so weird. It's not that weird. It's just a hole in the wall. It's a hole in the wall. We've already had like six of these, Mom. But this is like a one into the house, like into the house. Yeah, not to be confused with a brick in the wall. All in all, it's just a not a brick in the wall. <clears throat> How can you have your pudding if you don't eat your meat? You don't? It's pretty easy. You just eat your damn pudding. <laughs> Quarter inch. I just don't want to tear up the time. Yeah.
so if there is nails or something, then more of the just got bigger. What do we have here? A break time. A long break. It's like till it's like a break till tomorrow. Till tomorrow morning. We're done. <laughs> cool. Frankie's refusing to sleep in here now, by the way. I don't She's care. Refusing to what? To sleep in She's here. Sleep in the Why? front yard. Because she says until she can put her bed back up against a wall, she can't sleep because she feels like something's going to get her. No. I blame you. No. <laughs> I don't care who you blame. I know. No, but also... Little Miss, it's not a nursery anymore. Right? Exactly. It's not a nursery, okay? But her bed is also covered in Lundy's Watch out for the monsters! My bed is a mess because of you people. You can sleep on the couch. I don't care. You can sleep in the well, yard. Why, why do you have to have your bed against the wall? You can sleep in the because dumpster. So the demons don't get her in. No, it's actually just more comfy. Oh. Instead of sleeping oh, in the middle of the floor. Oh, is, mm. that, is that what you're I think she picks at the wall something. when she's sleeping. <laughs> We're having to quickly move a bunch of gear from outside because all of a sudden it started thundering and lightning and now we've got a flash flood warning coming. So we're trying to get everything kind of hunkered down right now uh, before the skies open up in the next hour. So let me give you guys an update on where we are right now for today. We've made a lot of progress this weekend, or they have rather. I've been doing other projects and kind of putting the house somewhat back together. But he's got all the tiling on this concrete section here done with the molding. And then... Don't get too close to it. <laughs> it looks good. Don't get too close. No close inspection. Okay. It still needs to be caulked. I can see that. But here, they're uh, going to be doing the caulking later. It needs to be uh, a grouted as well. Grouted, caulked, whatever. I don't Bolt. know. Oh, so, yeah. And then the molding all along here, which is going to also be done in the living room. Still have this one to do, but they got this wall busted open here now. And Frankie and I have to move her bed and the big desk out. And then we'll be able to paint in here. And she's got to get this floor paint and stuff moved, obviously, before then. And get this painting section done. When do you have to grout the rest of those tiles? Um, well, there's not a rule, but it can't be for at least 24 hours. So, but there's no rule for when I need to. But I can tell you that I can't do it today. Okay. Probably I don't can't do it tomorrow. Gotcha. I mean, might be able to do it tomorrow if I have time. Mm -hmm. but I don't know if I have time. Okay. It's looking good though. Well, except for that wall, because uh, I thought that wall looks great. Well, it needs, gonna need sanding. needs repainted and stuff again now. But that's okay. I kind of knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, it's gonna need sanded and textured. Some of the spots on that seam you hit again. Yeah. Just when it dries it settles. What I think I'll do is I'll I'll staple some bisqueen to the ceiling and drop it down and sand on this side of it. Just to do the best we can. Okay. And then leave the ceiling fans off while we're doing that and then as it settles back in. Okay. Sounds like a plan. So it's raining a lot. It's raining a lot because of the lightning just now. Lots of thunder. <laughs> a lot's happening. We just moved these freezers here into the mudroom on the opposite side of the pantry. Um, and the rain just, the skies opened up. We knew we had just gotten that flood warning and you hear it so loud. But we're overdue. We normally have a big storm in July where we get the flash flood warnings and all that. We didn't really have it this year. We'll probably get an inch or two in two hours. So. The next 
and he's gonna make sure that this doesn't flood. And it looks like it's already backing up. I need to go check with Mike. So nothing ended up flooding. We did have to go outside and clear the sump pump because it was clogged, but that's got solved. Let's see the progress in the room for today. All right, so here we go. The trim on this side is done. We still have to paint this side of the room and move her furniture over here. Well, first this all has to be cleaned, uh, the floor, so that we can move it so that we can then paint and then this has to be sanded before we can paint on this side. Not too shabby, not too shabby, it's coming along. So, we're so close to the end, guys. So close to the end, I'm excited. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell so you get the notifications.